This video will demonstrate three of the most important communication tests found under the maintenance menu. The Ethernet status, 2G, 3G level, and range test. These three tests can be invaluable during both the installation process of a new system and when performing service on an existing system as they will help to determine a system's communication performance. So first we want to ensure that we're logged in under access level 4 or the installer level so that we can gain access to the maintenance menu. Once logged in, scroll to the right two times and press OK to enter the maintenance menu. And then quickly scroll to the left to access the Ethernet status option. The Ethernet status will test the panel's connection on the local network and should return the local IP address currently assigned to the panel. To initiate the test, simply press OK. And we have our result with our local IP displayed, which is exactly what we want to see. So I'm going to press Escape to back up. And next, I'm going to left arrow to the 2G, 3G level option here. The 2G, 3G level will test cellular signal and will display a result as a number out of 5, followed by the cellular network in which it is connected. Once this test has been initiated, please keep in mind that it can take approximately 30 seconds up to 2 minutes before it will return its final result. And during this time, if the test appears to be taking longer than 30 seconds, you will want to go ahead and press one of the number keys or arrow keys to prevent the keypad display from turning off. Once the system displays its final result, it is recommended to allow the system to rest on that screen for an additional 30 seconds just to confirm that there is not fluctuation in the cell signal. Remember, the minimum result on the cell test here should be no less than 3 out of 5. And if the result happens to be less than 3 out of 5, this could actually prevent videos from successfully transmitting to the monitoring station. To exit the 2G, 3G level test, simply press OK or the Escape No key, which will bring us back to the maintenance menu options. And next, we can range test our devices. The range test will test RF performance bidirectionally between the control panel and the devices and will display a result in real time as a number out of 9. Press OK to enter the range test menu where it will provide a listing of devices currently enrolled in the system in the order in which they were enrolled. And we can scroll through that listing using the arrow keys here. To initiate a test on a specific device, simply press OK. While this test is running, you should observe it climbing to a total of 9 of 9 and it should hold at that result for approximately 30 seconds. This is just to confirm that the signal does not fluctuate below the 9 of 9, which is the optimum signal required for all VideoFide devices. To end the test, simply press OK, and that will bring us to the device listing where we can scroll through using the arrow keys and range test our next device.